return of pay-per-view. It's Sunday. Here he is in action. Take a look. He... <laughs> Continental, I like to kiss the hand thing. You're Very just, nice. You're just now jealous I didn't do it to you. Yeah, yeah. Well, I am jealous you didn't do it to me. Now, you look, are you a little nervous being on this kind of venue? I'm uh, only nervous because I'm actually wearing clothes and I'm uh, not beating people up. <laughs> <laughs> now, usually wrestlers have like a odd name. Now, Goldberg is your real name, isn't it? Yeah. Did you ever think of being, you know, the something or other, the Titan <laughs> or one of those deals? <laughs> Well, you know, my name originally was The Assassin, but I changed it to something more menacing, like Goldberg. Goldberg, you know, like, well, Goldberg is disarming. You know, they may expect the accountant, you know, or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, <laughs> well, a lot of people might not know. That, that a lot of folks might not know you played in the NFL. Yeah. And you were with, was it the Raiders? Atlanta Falcons. Atlanta Falcons, I'm sorry. Falcons. Three years? Three years, yeah. And what happened? You got injured, right? Tore my lower abdomen, unfortunately, and uh, now I'm moved on to bigger and better things. Okay, yeah, this worked out okay. Okay. Now, let me ask, now, were your parents wrestlers? <laughs> <laughs> they were the famous Jewish tag team from the Midwest. <laughs> the, Jewish, the Jewish tag, of course, the Jewish tag team in the Midwest. So what did your folks do? <laughs> Actually, my, uh, <laughs> you liked it, didn't you? Actually, my uh, uh, mother was a concert violinist. And my father was a gynecologist, so <laughs> don't think it. Well, they must. So I guess your career choice was a natural, really. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they, were, they really liked it when I, cho when I chose uh, being a wrestler, too. The first thing that my dad did was hang the phone up on me. So. <laughs> did he really? Yeah. No, really? <laughs> now he's my biggest fan. You know? Now, did they come? Did they come? That's my boy. Yeah, they come to as many events as Eric Bischoff and the rest of WCW yeah. will allow because they try to come to all of them. That's great. That's like the movie The Jazz Singer. You know, it's the same deal. Oh, great. <laughs> I mean, how did I'm you decide? I'm trying to break that stereotype. No, no, but how did you decide to do this? How did you, what made you sort of, where did the transition come from? My accountant told me I had to get off my butt and start doing something. <laughs> um, it was kind of, I, I don't want to say it's a natural progression, but, yeah. uh, you know, being in the NFL, uh, you always had that locker room thing going. Right. You do get paid a fairly decent amount of money. Oh yeah, it's great. Oh, and it's uh, the dough. physical competition, you know, yeah. and uh, I thought it was a natural progression for And me, you know, so you guys are great. When I did the wrestling thing with you guys in Sturgis, you know, the one thing I liked was all the wrestlers took time to talk to all the kids. Nobody ever used any bad language. I mean, there's a lot of grunting and bodies, but I mean, you know, I mean, they were very nice. I mean, you guys were great with the youngsters because a lot of athletes won't sign things and won't do things. And I thought that was great. You guys are out there. Each kid got a little something, you know, yeah. a choke or a hit in the head or something. But, you know, you, you know. I, I speared a couple kids on yeah. the way into the yeah, ring. Yeah, but the kids love that. You know what? The, the main reason why I do what I do is for the kids. You yeah. know, it's, it's uh, great entertainment for them. And I would, uh, I drop everything to give an autograph to a kid. You know, yeah. I, I do these two hour autograph sessions and end up staying for three and a half and four just to make sure that everybody's got now, everything. I want to ask you something. Now, this Steve Austin guy. Who's that? I keep hearing Goldberg's a wimp, and Goldberg's scared of him, and I, you know, I know you're a friend, I, I, I don't want to bring this I up. I guess this gives me an opportunity to uh, throw a challenge out there. You gonna throw a challenge right here tonight? Yeah, you know, there have been, there have been, uh... Back me up on this, Kevin. <laughs> I've been in high school before, you go <laughs> There you go. Um, Ever since I started, everybody always called me a ripoff of Steve Austin. Well, you guys know, and I know, there's only one Goldberg. That's right. And I don't know what he's thinking, or if he's, or if he's even thinking, but... Uh, <laughs> I'll throw a hundred grand of my money, Austin, anytime, any place. We can even do it in the back alley of the NBC Right studio. here at NBC, we'll, we'll set it up right here at the Tonight Show. Callista becomes the ring girl. I think it's a hell of a deal. So you, it's a hundred thousand, a hundred thousand, you gotta do the A hundred grand, Austin, you get me right here on the Tonight Show. Goldberg's taking you down for one hundred grand. 
Did I do it right? I didn't go to that acting school. There you go.